Hello viewers at home, I hope you're doing well, you're staying safe, you're staying home. Hello viewers at home, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sharon, popularly known as Alaye Bam Bam. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can maximize the potential, the ability, the qualifications, the speculations of your smartphone or your tablet or your iPad or any device that allows you to record and allows you to export. So I'll be showing you how to shoot yourself, not shoot, but like film, <laughs> how to film yourself by yourself. Cause sometimes family, family won't be there for you. You know, you have to film your videos on your own. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody's there for you. It's just you on your phone. You know, like, it's, it's really hard sometimes. I just, I just wish there was someone out there to help me film, you know? But then, no, nobody. So you have to learn how to film yourself. So I'm here to help you with simple tips. This is not one of those videos where you're just going to be watching me say the same thing five ways. I'm going to go straight to the point because in Nigeria, there's no time to waste time or wherever you're watching this video from. So these are the items I used to film mostly. My iPhone 8 Plus, my selfie ring light and my monopod currently filming this with my iphone 6 and i'm just going to show you that you can use whatever gadget you have to achieve great content yes that's all you need because of what you use is getting professional camera if you do not know how to use it or if you're going to spend more time setting up your camera and then when you actually have to film, you're frustrated, you're angry, you're hungry, all of that. So how to film yourself, how to edit, and how to share your content with the world or your immediate community. So are you ready? Let's get into it. First thing you need is your smartphone, of course, or any device that records clearly. Make sure your lens is clean. I always use a handkerchief to wipe and sometimes I use rubbing alcohol. I have that in a bottle. I got this from Funke Williams. I use this to spray around the house if I have to go out to get anything or if anybody goes out, we use this to spray the items. I also use it to clean my camera lens and my mirror or anywhere that has a tough stain. Alcohol helps it clean easier. Wipe your lens with a dry cloth. Maybe even breathe on your phone lightly, like and then wipe the next thing is somewhere stable to place your phone it could be a table it could be a set of books you can get creative and now i'm going to go to video flip it to myself fix the automatic exposure and yeah start recording you can hold your phone firmly at a level that suits you best oh the lighting here is good or you can use a monopod to record you can also extend this as long as you want this can go really far i don't know if you can see it but i don't need it that long but still okay let's see how this looks so hi hi guys welcome to my channel <laughs> so you can film it as far as you want or you can bring it closer to yourself or you could invest in a tripod it's not really an investment because there are affordable tripods available everywhere you can go to any gadget store if you're in lagos you can go to computer village you can get creative place your phone against the wall place your phone against anything that can hold your phone so your phone is not shaking so your phone doesn't fall over make sure you place it somewhere that even if your phone is going to tip over there is a cushion to catch it or if it falls back there's something for your phone to rest on you can do the same thing with your tablet or your ipad even though i suggest you place it on a surface so your hands are free and if you have to talk with your hands or if you have to show how you do something you can do that easily or better still, you can get a universal table mount. It can be screwed onto a tripod. Right now, I'm filming with my iPhone 8 Plus. 
I'm going to show you what it looks like filming with an iPhone 6 and filming with an iPhone 6s. So now I'm filming with an iPhone 6s, an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 8 Plus. So you can see the different quality. I'll go over that again. This is an iPhone 8, this is an iPhone 6 Plus and this is an iPhone 6. The quality variation is not that much but the difference is clear but you can always give your quality an oomph you can use your ring lights okay i'm not going to place the ring light on any of the cameras i'm going to place it at a distance so you can see what it looks like with a little bit of extra light so can you see can you see the difference like the difference is just a little the iphone x and the xr also have good cameras but this is just to show you that iphone 6 and the iphone 6s are also good to create content you don't have to go overboard this is a way Huawei. how do you guys pronounce it please let me know in the comment section i say way i don't know man but this is a dual lens way p20 light I have a Hisense Infinity E8, Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime Plus, a Samsung A10s. We are going to film with all four of these and we are going to see the quality difference. So let's try that out. So the quality is different on all the phones, but you can see the variation. This is a bit too bright. This is almost perfect and this is a bit too dark. I tried to fix the exposure, but make sure you always shoot horizontally, never vertically. Because if you film vertically, it's going to create these borders on the side. But if you shoot horizontally, then see, it's easy. The only place that vertical videos are great for is IGTV, Snapchat, and your WhatsApp status. Any other place has a border. My last video, tell me about yourself. My followers sent in their videos vertically, so I had to fix their videos into the office space that I created so everything is balanced out because it's not nice having those black borders on the side. So make sure you always remember to keep your phone horizontally. So now let's focus on the most important thing, lighting. This video you're watching right now is thanks to natural light. It is the best lighting to use, honestly. Just look at that. Look at that. If you want to get studio lights or a ring lights, that's fine. But I'll rather use natural light from the window. So the light is filling in on your face and on your space. Because if you have to record and your video looks like this, you can see how dark it is because I'm back in the light. But then I advise that you face the light like this. I also open my curtains and open my window a bit so like the direct light is getting into my room do you understand sure get here it's also good to know when the sun is setting and peaking in your area but i wouldn't advise filming really early in the morning when the sun rays are beaming through i'd rather you start filming from 10 12 noon 2 p.m when the sun is balanced or neutral or when it's not like too bright outside when you get that perfect light movement makes it unbalanced I suggest you put on your AE lock. That is your automatic exposure. I want to focus on my face, so reduce the brightness, increase it a little. Not too bright. Okay, I think this is fine. Reduce it just a bit. Yeah. Androids also have this feature. It's best to fix the exposure on yourself by holding down for a few seconds till the AE lock pops up and then when it does you adjust you swipe up or down to, to fix the exposure for that once you have your device and your lighting set move on to sound the inbuilt microphones are really good the closer you are to your phone the better you don't expect to be all the way over here and shouting just so everybody can see your cute outfit and your background uh -uh. you have to be closer to your phone so you can get best sound from your device remember you're filming with a mobile device not with a professional camera 
or you could get a lapel microphone there are different types for any device i'm sure you can get one to fit your phone or your tablet or your ipad better still you could record your voice and use it while editing as a voiceover you can use your voice memo whatsapp voice note or you could extract your voice from the video you're filming and use that as a voiceover if you're trying to explain something like i did with the samsung and with the other iphones this and we're going to see the quality difference so this and we're going to see the quality difference so this is an example of extracting the audio from a video and using it to edit a different scene in your video so now on to editing i want to give an in-depth explanation of how i edit my videos for youtube and for instagram that is something i keep getting in my dms people keep asking what app do you use what app do you use i use InShot. InShot is a very simple app but i don't want this video to be too long so if you want me to make an extensive video of how i edit with InShot, all the hacks all the tricks of InShot, not pro the regular InShot, without paying a dime make sure you like this video and let me know in the comment section this is why i suggest you film by day and this is the quality you get with your smartphone like it's really dark out i'm using my touch as backup i actually have a lamp a side lamp that i use but i don't know where it is now so i'm going to use this to place my shadow so this is how you film and edit with any type of smartphone or tablet just have fun don't compare yourself to your faves be consistent create learn make use of what you have but hey if you're thinking of getting a camera let me know what camera you're getting in the comment section i'm still going to keep using my phone but like just in case you know if you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe share and remember to give a thumbs up if you want me to do an extensive video on how i edit with InShot. let me know if any of these tips were useful thank you for watching bye wait wait before you go please don't forget to comment like and subscribe